Let's give a round of applause to the Egua Saba Performing Group. Egua Saba, thank you very much for your display. Thank you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. May I now invite the Honorable Commissioner for Works in River State, Honorable Eloka Tassie Amadi, to present a description of the project. Your Excellency, the Governor of River State, Sir Simnale Fubara, Grand Service Star of River State, the Distinguished Senator John Azuta Mbata, former Senator representing Rivers East District, our special guest of honor. Your Excellency, Professor Mrs. Ngozi Odu, DSSRS, Deputy Governor, River State. Your Excellency, the former Governor of River State, Sir Celestino Mayor. The Right the Honorable Speaker of the River State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Victor Oko Jumbo. Your Excellency, please permit me to rely on protocols previously established. Your Excellency, may I once again thank you for the privilege of being of service to our people and to the state as uh, Commissioner for Works. I, my task today is uh, very simple to provide a description of the project, but I do not think that uh, describing technical details alone will do justice to today's event. So permit me to please delve a little into the background surrounding the project. Today we're here to commission Okocha Street in Rumo Lumeni. This road is strategically located between Mbo Road, where you're sitting, and Aka Road, which is directly behind me. Coincidentally, it's the only road that links these two roads and moves on to our ongoing trans calabari project. For many years, this road, which should have been a hope for the people, was more a symbol of neglect. It was in very bad shape and it, it eroded the dignity of the people, devalued their properties, and a lot of people here were really not very happy. Today, as the sounds of construction replace the noise of frustration, the joy of the people in the area has been renewed and restored and all their hopes renewed. I've been here a few times and when I interact with the people, I see their happiness, and many have been looking forward to meeting you to just appreciate you. If you look to my right, many times we've had project commissionings and flag offs, but I see a banner here printed by the residents of Okocha Street to welcome His Excellency. Only those who have been here will know how bad it really was. And the situation was made more painful because this strategic road is sandwiched between two roads that are very, very motorable. So they're right in the city, to their left they have a good road, to the right they have a good road. And despite the fact that this road shortens the journey from Mbo to Aka Road, the road was in a terrible situation. But today the story is different. Thank you, Excellency. If you look at your program on pages 10 and 11, the pictures there are worth more than a thousand words. It will tell you what it was and what it is today. This road is about 1.55 kilometers long. The spur of it is about 405 meters. The width is an average of seven meters. And in our design specifications, we have a thickness of 150 mm of stone base. And our asphaltic pavement is 60 millimeters of binder course, 40 millimeters of wearing course. And in total, we have about 2.7 kilometers of drains on both sides of the road. Today, I can say once again, 
that the hopes of the people on Okocha Street have been renewed and their joy restored. Thank you, Excellency. Your Excellency, at this point, may I invite to speak on behalf of the engineering firm, Jemajo and Magene Nigeria Limited, engineer Prince Will Agim, the manager civil. All right. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State, Sir Simna Lai Fumara, uh, Senator John Azutan Bata, his special guest, and uh, His Excellency, the Deputy Governor of River State, Professor Ngozi. Please, His Excellency, permit me to on establish uh, protocols given the exigency of time. Uh, the Honorable Commissioner have given the details of the project we are here to commission. And uh, as the project manager and the head of civil works of Jemajo and Majin, I want to appreciate God for the opportunity given us to carry out this project. Uh, it's not an easy task to be involved as a development partner, but uh, you have given us the opportunity, a wholly indigenous firm, where people prefer to use the multinationals. Your Excellency, at the beginning of this project, I received a test message from the Honorable Commissioner that we stand not just for Jemajo and Majin, but for all the indigenous contractors not only in River State, but in Nigeria. And as such, we should stand for the uh, slogan of the, commission, of the ministry, built to last. And I want to assure you that we have built this road to stand the test of time by the specifications in which it was designed, which we followed strictly and put it up. A few months ago, just barely three months, and a few days, we commenced this project right in the middle of the rainy season. And uh, we put up the drains, and the people of Okocha can confirm that these drains are very functional. We didn't just build reservoirs for mosquitoes, but very functional drains. So the, it has been tested by the rains, and it is functional. And we are sure that this road will stand the test of time. The government wouldn't have to come and make unnecessary spendings here. I also want to... Sincerely appreciate the people of Okocha and the residents. I've not, uh, for close to 30 decades of my being in this profession, I've not ha worked in a place where the people so appreciate you. I want to inform you, Your Excellency, they hosted us to a very, you know, delicious dinner on behalf of the government. I, I, I want to say it because I didn't pay for the project, but we took it on behalf, thank God the ministry were well represented. So I think they appreciate it and they will preserve it and I think they deserve more. I also want to appreciate you and I say we also want to be uh, part of the development of River State. You know, the governor, you always say that your duty and your responsibility is to put smiles in the, in the faces of River's people and want to be part of it. I want to assure you that any opportunity given us, we won't abuse it. We'll make sure that we stand not only to make you proud and to make your aim, the aim of the government, to be achieved. And not only to be achieved, to be sustained. We also want to ensure that we also build a name for indigenous firms. Thank you, sir.
Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on the occasion of the commissioning of the rehabilitated Okocha Roads and Spurs, it is my pleasure to respectfully invite to present his speech the Governor of River State, His Excellency, Sir Simnalai Fubara, Grand Service Star of River State. A simple man by nature. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Adia State. Your Excellency, Sir Celestino Mayor, former governor of our also dear state, our very distinguished special guest of honor, I don't know if it will be wrong to say of them president of the Senate, <laughs> distinguished Senator John Mbata. Other members of the National Assembly that are here, both serving and former, our elders, Chief Abiyas Ekebo, Dr. Sansam Jaja, distinguished Senator A.M. Pepo, and uh, Senator Lee, and others that are here with us. Not also forgetting on whose instance we're here. I have to say this. Somebody who decided to support us in the face of all is trouble. The man who also brought this project to this community, Chief Annie Woko. The chairman of River State Council of Traditional Ruler, my own king, King Dandes in Georgia. The royal father of this community young man that is overseeing a very complicated community like this. <laughs> I also recognize you and using you as a point of contact to other royal fathers that are here with us. Members of the state assembly that are here, secretary to the state government, other members of the state executive council, chairman of Obiakpo, Odosha's chairman, and other chairmen that are here, permanent secretaries, head of departments, other guests invited, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really happy, honestly, to be in this community, and I can tell you my reason. After the presidential election, we were really and we needed to do everything to make sure that we were very comfortable in my own election. The people of this community are majorly visitors. They are not residents. And this community has a very big voting strength. Our supporters at that time approached them, spoke to them, and they saw reason to support our election. 
So what I'm doing here today is to say thank you for believing in us. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for also standing by us. The little we can do is to make your life better. This road is very significant to us because it removes tears from the faces of the people living here. It was a terrible road. The living conditions here was unimaginable. But, it, but to the glory of God today, those things are now history. You can see joys in the faces of the people here. Moreover, the residents here who are majorly non-indigenous. My advice will only go this way. Politics is not about who supports you or who is against you. Politics will also include attending to the need of the people. At this particular time, if I was an evil person, I would say I won't come here, considering the nature and the locality of this place. But because duty in government to provide services, protect life and property, we had to come to make sure that our people here are happy. It's not about me, it's about the government. Government should be caring. The purpose of government is to put smiles on the faces of our people. So we're here today to return thank you to the great and wonderful people of Rumo Lumene, specifically those residents in this Okocha street. And to assure you that the other adjoining streets, we are going to attend to them immediately. <laughs> continue to be peace loving, continue to obey the law and stay out of trouble. Continue to support the right thing, which is important for every one of us. I will leave the bigger talk to our special guest of honor, who happens to be one of the greatest leaders today in this local government area. I will invite him to come and talk to his own people. Maybe he will even speak the language that Kula understands in the other side, and also commission this project to the glory of God. Let me, on behalf of the government, and the good people of River State, thank every one of you, more especially the residents, for your support so far, and assure you that we will continue to do all we can to better the lot of Obiakpo people. In a few days, we'll be going to, Okane, I think, Akania Oboguro. That is another very sensitive road by the special grace of God, is already ready for commissioning. We're not ending there. We're already at the roofing stage in the same Obiakbo, the general hospital that you don't have, and also the psychiatric hospital, the modern one we're building, because we know our major problem today are mental illness because of drugs and otherwise. So you should see that our projects are not limited to only road, but to other things that will also bring a better life to our people. The issue of the school that is mentioned here, I can assure you, the Commissioner for Education will immediately visit this, the school and take necessary action. Let me thank you again, assure you that we'll continue to work together for the betterment of River State. Let me on this note invite our special guest of honor to come speak with us, speak to your people, is your people, and also commission this project to the glory of God. Thank you and may God bless you all.